everyone and welcome back to my channel so today we are doing a slightly different video for my channel but i thought i would film the whole process of changing my room ever so slightly if you watched my videos for a little while then i did actually do a bedroom makeover video it was probably about three years ago now and i used to have like this huge cupboard in this corner here and i redone it and basically added this and my room was like pink and cream and now it's like a gray cream color but we're three years later now i think i think it's three years years we're about three years later i think and it's time that we are redoing my room again but not like to a massive extent obviously in my youtube videos this is the background it looks very clean very like tidy and like more aesthetic but if you actually swivel the camera around for the past like six months probably my room has been suffering and i have outgrown my wardrobe i am getting these like made to measure wardrobe they're getting fitted in on the 8th of march so they're getting delivered on the 7th of march and then on the 8th of march we've got these like builders coming in and they're gonna cut it and make to measure everything to the section of my room and they're gonna have all mirrors on the front so i'm gonna have like a full set of long mirrors which is something that i've really been lacking because i have my hollywood mirror and obviously i can't really see my full-on outfit in that so i've got some full length mirrors come in i feel like i'm actually embarrassed that i'm putting this on the internet right now and that um this is what i'm going to be showing you but this is the current situation of the other side of my youtube videos normally i have fully outgrown my wardrobe but these doors do not shut like <laughs> this is like a serious issue that i've been having i feel like stuff is literally like falling out of my wardrobe from my previous video as well i do have a very small room and i do have the smallest room in the house so hopefully this is going to utilize the space as much as possible it's also very annoying because this is the door to get into my room and basically this bangs on this door if you open it and don't push this in so it is like the most tedious thing ever so i feel like this is actually going to change my life so much in order for the new wardrobes to be fitted my whole entire room has to be empty day and this weekend i'm spending my weekend tidying out my whole room so that it is completely empty so i'm a little bit stressed because all of my belongings i own have to come out of this room this is like the perfect opportunity as well to actually have like a serious clear out because i'm going to go through all of my belongings so also another change because obviously this wardrobe here actually matches my dressing table my side table which is this one and my headboard they all come as like a matching set obviously because i'm getting rid of the wardrobes so then i'd have like three different types of cupboards and i feel like it doesn't really match i think we're going to order it today is basically a similar one like this from ikea but ikea don't actually sell the right length for a dressing table but i think i'm going to get another set of cupboards instead of my dressing table and this wardrobe is actually gonna come out all the way so i'm not gonna have a side table anymore i feel like this is a very waffly intro but it needs a bit of backstory behind this but because my room is going to be completely empty my mum thought why not just like give it another paint it's going to be the same colour as it is now but I think like over wear and tear you get like little scratches and scuffs that is going to be my waffly little intro and now I'm actually going to get started I think we're going to start with the wardrobe because I feel like that is the biggest thing here just quickly give you a run over of what my room looks like now as a before and then I can put that into my after as well but to be honest I don't really like this either but I feel like it is going to probably have to stay just something else we had to get my light switch so this used to be like a big square one it used to be here but it had to get moved to over here because the wardrobes that i'm getting come out pretty much like to here it really is not a look and then obviously i'm gonna get a new headboard bed is gonna stay the same i'm not sure whether to get a new oh also bella's here it is the nice <laughs> it is the nicest blanket she loves it this all covered and set up will probably stay the exact same these drawers are like rammed so hopefully it will just make them easier to open because like realistically it's a nightmare to get into these drawers now and then this again is like going to be a huge change because i feel like i've kind of shoved clothes like here and here which is just not a good look so hopefully i'm gonna have enough storage now to put all of these clothes here into a wardrobe i mean it's not usually as bad on my desk it's normally quite clear but i feel like the fact i know i've got to get all my belongings out anyway i've kind of not been putting stuff away because i'm like well i'm gonna be getting it back out anyway let's start with the wardrobe i've now got to go and basically black sack everything in my wardrobe bella's gonna keep me company on my bed
these sacks, black sacks, to just do this base part. It's getting hot in here, like honestly. Don't wear a tracksuit if you're gonna do this because it is hot work. Right, let's do this. So we now have an empty wardrobe. I feel like I can feel an echo and I am sweating right now. Like this is serious work. But I can actually sit inside of my wardrobe now, which is quite funny. Look how much neat that is. If only I could do that. This is the first. That's what I made. It's from the floor. So just a little side note is obviously I am having the biggest clear out I think I will have of my life for a long long time. I'm sure I will be uploading so much stuff over on my Vinted. I haven't actually had Vinted for very long but it is such a good app for selling clothes so I will definitely be uploading a load of stuff on there. So definitely check out my Vinted. I'll put like what my username is in the description box so you can go see. But yeah, there will be a lot of Vinted stuff I assume going up. And I feel like I just want to get rid of it. So it will probably be really cheap. So yeah, I just really want to get rid of the stuff. This drawer down here is always been just like the most random drawer ever. I have some like, you know when you just have like your only holiday clothes. Like they only come out once a year when you go on holiday. Like random stuff like water bottles. All of my like when I went through my zoella phase got all my like girl online books that have been signed i think same as my tanya bakes book which i actually really loved look i put all post-it notes this is going back to like the start of when i started youtube i love tanya do you remember that oh oh this was when i got signed by tanya burr actually so funny to look back on honestly this book's like that is funny as well and these are all signed how hilarious is that oh so i've just come across these these are from primary school if you remember these these are go-go's does anyone remember this like in primary school you used to try and like swap and you wanted to get like the best ones these are probably like vintage now i think this was like a good one i feel like i remember that one being quite good one was just like a rubbish one i think i remember that one being not very good those were the days in primary school when you were swapping your go-go's and your like braids <laughs> remove this this is easy just to pick up i don't need to empty the drawers i can just leave it as is for now i'm out of socks i wonder i've run out of socks it's because they're actually under my cup i'm always struggling to find some and i've bought multiple new pairs of black socks and it's all because they're just underneath my bedside table don't prove me wrong prove you under my bed and i have a lot under my bed it's a little bit embarrassing to be putting on youtube but that is what it is so i'm literally just gonna bag this all up i might try and keep some stuff aside because like half this stuff i just know i won't keep it's just stuff that i've had for so long i did remember i had a whole bottle of grey goose poker underneath that my brother got me for christmas like years and years ago but i think i just this just proves that i don't really drink alcohol because like literally it's unopened it is now 22 9 on my saturday night i feel like doing this has just made you realize how many belongings you have that is me finished for today and tomorrow we are painting
That did all the gloss today. Oh, we painted, we've just painted the room once, haven't we? Yeah. And then all the gloss has been done. So I now no longer have any yellow skirting boards. And this, to be fair, this was bad, my radiator. Yeah, I think they look fine. I think I'd still use it. We'll be unpainted. We should have actually gone over it. Quick. This is where I slept last night. Take me your arms. Do just what you want. You're the one I trust. I belong, I belong to you. And I'll always be around. When I need. I've got home from work and the wardrobes have now been fitted. My mum actually filmed some clips throughout the day which I'll put in, but this is just the final bit before I put my bed back in. So I just thought I would film it quick. But yeah, they're all fitted in. They look really nice and they have like a push button then and then you open them up and I've got double hanging on this side. And then on this side, I've just got two cupboards and it opens up like this. So I've got double hanging and then like pocket drawers, I guess, like table, what you call them, like shelves. And also a shelf at the top. So yeah, that is what it all looks like when it's opened up. And that is the wardrobes. This is the whole reason why my room was redone. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to a couple of days after my wardrobes got actually infitted. So I've currently just been living in an empty room for the past three days. I've been living in an empty room and it is officially the weekend, which means I can now finish off everything to do with my room. So first of all, I'm going to be actually building these two bits of furniture, well one bit of furniture, two boxes. They are obviously flat packed, so I've got to build them all together. I'm gonna see how long this takes me. What is the time now? Half past 12. We shall see how long it takes. I've got my iced coffee. Um, Bella is like just chilling on my bed. Let's build the cupboards. Don't prove me wrong, prove you right. Don't prove me wrong, prove you right. My word is it looks very complicated, I'm not gonna lie. You can't draw here because I wouldn't even know where to begin. last on this clip it was half 12 so that's three and a half hours since i last said the drawers are done and they all fit well fine we had a bit of a hip up but they're all in and now we just need to move it into a gap be my guiding star because i need your love and baby and never let me oh. down <laughs> let me down let me down on Saturday and I'm finally gonna put something in my wardrobe. Thinking of putting my tracksuits down the bottom, hang them up like this so pop the tracksuit bottoms and then jump over the top. I find I've been putting this off for so long because the thought of like going for everything and I think I need to be really strict and like put stuff on vintage and stuff so I'm gonna go through my stuff decide what I want, decide what I don't want, and have a proper clear out. I did actually pop to Primark this morning and I picked up 80 hangers, and these ones are grey ones because then they kind of match, and I feel like it looks nice in your wardrobe when you have matching hangers. So I picked up 80 hangers, which I don't think is actually going to be enough. Just text, I know it's a toss, oh, but I hate the fact that we lost such a the Uber pulling up on call. Tell me as you trying to fall through I'ma leave it up to you What you wanna do? Look, I'm trying to spend this time with you Know we all for do What you're doing right now, right now. Baby, 
baby, won't you swing my way? It's been a day and I've been thinking all loud. I know I want you. Long time since the last time. Got a tab, we can run up. Knew you from the way, now we grown up. My look, yeah, made the realest ones nervous. But if you want it, tap in. I think that I know somewhere that we could go to crash it. We could keep the pace on slow, yeah. Don't leave me on red. Can we go back where we first began? No plans, all we have is the moment. interruption of the bedroom makeover i popped to lakeside to go and grab some more hangers and some more like drawer organizers we went into primark and we've come out <laughs> with this huge chair for emily's room little stool for my room and we've just had to put all the seats some lady just literally got inside my car and put the seats down because we had no clue two people we went for primark came and carried them all and my boot is literally full and you can't see it and i can't see anything emily are now at ikea and i'm looking for wardrobe strip lighting we're at ikea basically i haven't been to ikea in ages but their food is really good they look quite good actually i wasn't expecting them to be like that out from ikea i feel like we was in there for ages absolutely nothing pretty much i got some divider drawers and we ended up <laughs> getting it. yeah do you want to try a meatball the food is so cheap at the end that it's actually crazy. I remember seeing it saying meatballs are like, I thought it was 182, but maybe they're just a pound. Could it eat this? It's so late. Actually, well, it's not late. It's 4 p.m. Yeah, it's late because Adam not done anything. Don't prove me wrong, prove you right. My word is but we don't spit no drawers and i just actually put these little things i got from ikea in there they're really clever so they're like come flat packed like that and you just do the zip up and they're just good for organization otherwise your stuff's kind of just everywhere in the wardrobe and these two fit really well actually next to each other all of my socks and tights are now in there so that is done this worked really well and it's not too much of a gap either so it's quite a good spot for it so that is that drawer I've literally just got back from work um, and I just had dinner quick and I'm actually going to fill up these drawers now because they're in the position they're going to be. So I got some more of these um, but these ones are actually from Primark and they're the drawer organisers. So this one here has like little bits that you can pull out so it's got four corners. These were from Primark and they're actually really good and obviously and obviously very cheap so that was one lot and the other one you get these sets in so we've got two lots of each but i'm just going to put them in and they literally fit perfectly like they're the perfect width for these drawers so that light has worked out very very well but all the elements living free in my mind to 10 and i thought i'd show you what i've done but i think i'm gonna call it a night now okay so that is my hair care drawer done not gonna lie it was kind of hard to fit it all in this side doesn't look very nice but this is like my everyday my everyday makeup and like makeup um that i use like frequently this cupboard is makeup that i don't use as much but this is like lipsticks and um glosses brushes then i just did this drawer i didn't actually film me doing any of it but this is jewelry and i actually bought this new jewelry box from amazon it's, um it's got like different necklaces in it and then we've got different jewelry in there and then you can see through the top that jewelry this drawer is still empty so i'm not sure what to put in there i need to put like sunglasses this bottom drawer is again more makeup so we've got eyelashes and palettes as well welcome back to what feels like it's been probably a solid three days maybe two three days since i last filmed and i feel like i've pretty much put everything back into my room i kind of gave up with putting things in because when you're trying to do it on camera and try and think about where you're putting things as well as trying to declutter it's quite a lot to think about and i feel like the camera was really slowing me down and i feel like it'd been dragging enough so i just thought i would 
put everything in I'll show you everything at the end um but I just thought I would show you these last little bits which I thought were quite interesting maybe I've had a quite a few parcels arrive over the past couple of days I'm gonna put these away these are the last little clothing item bits that I've got and they're like things that needed to have clips to hang so either like strapless tops or skirts or strapless dresses and obviously those things you can't hang so I didn't know what to do because obviously all of my hangers are matching so I actually came across these on Amazon and I think you get about 40 pegs which would hang 20 things because obviously you need two pegs for each one for about 15 pounds which I didn't think was awful and they've come and they're actually really good so they're like these little velvet ones they're grey so they match my room as well and they're basically the pegs that you put on the hangers so I've got some hangers here and you basically just clasp them on like that that is it now you have matching hangers but with the clasps it's just super easy hang them up and because they're velvet they're quite like soft as well and yeah now you can hang tops like this so i just thought that was really clever so i just thought i would show you that really quick got a little pile left of stuff that needs to be hung like this i'm gonna put all that away and then that is everything that needs to go in my cupboards you can actually see yourself here excuse the reflection but now i've got my headboard so this is a brand new headboard it's like a gray kind of almost velvet material and i'm actually gonna finally put this up which i feel like will pull the room together a little bit and then because i actually got rid of my side table i have no light by my bed so if i want to switch my light on at night I've got to, like get out of bed and do it which sounds really like funny but like usually you have a light by the side of you so I looked up um actually trying to get some lighting and I saw these LED strip lighting on Amazon so I just picked up this box and I wasn't really after like all the funky colours and everything which would have been quite cool to be fair but I just wanted like the plain white so because my Hollywood mirror is white light I got the white lighting I'm going to put them around the edge so hopefully it glows up the back of the headboard at night fingers crossed this is the plan Okay, I'm going to be changing my bed in because I have my teddy bear bed in on it, which don't get me wrong, is the most comfortable bed in. Some people wouldn't like it because they like that crisp like sheet feel. When it's winter, this is like the most cozy bed in, but it is very cream and obviously my room has now completely kind of converted to white and gray. So I'm just gonna put my summer kind of bedding on, which is my white sheets. And I feel like this will really make it feel like the room's coming together. I feel like this is now all the decorative bit. bedding is on and I just popped my lights on which you can kind of see there um, in the camera I think I need a different pillow pillow so I got this pillow to match this bed in um, and my other pillows don't really go anymore so I like this one still but I think I need like a little one I'm thinking of getting like the gray knotted ball one Take me So we are now at the finale of this video. It has been a fair few weeks, probably, the course of this video. I've probably been, from start to finish, it's probably been three weeks, maybe. But it has caused so much 
like mess and everything in the house the house has been very messy during this period of me doing this to my room we are at the end of the video so i thought i would give you a little room tour just to give you a little bit of a overview of the before and after my room is very very tidy in comparison to what my room started as at the start of this video I like lace and i like braids but i love my amends to be made and so my mum is currently painting this which goes on the back of my wall and holds my dressing gown so that's going to come back but it's going to be painted white walk in this is my new wardrobe so it's kind of like three panels and they are like push ones so you push them to open and close it literally is like embedded into my wall so the wall of the wardrobe is my actual wall and the back of it is my actual bedroom wall this is the inside it looks kind of chaotic this box i actually got from prime up it was in the sale and it's like a teddy bear one but it fits perfectly this has got some clothes and then electricals in this basket which are currently in primark we've obviously got the hanging space which i've tried to color coordinate which you can kind of tell I did show i got these little clip-ons from amazon which are really good but the only thing is they move so like they don't stay in the place and it's shoes at the bottom on the third cupboard I've just got some more hanging space. So I actually have this whole shelf at the top empty. And then at the top, we've got like blazers and blazer dresses. This has kind of been lived out of since I've been doing it as well for like a week or so. So I feel like pulling stuff in and out obviously makes it look a little bit less neat. Also, I'm loving that I can now film in a mirror because i never had a full length mirror before and then we move on to the bed so pretty much the same um this is just my white bed in that i've had before but i did get a new throw so this one's from dunelm and it's quite a nice one it's really soft actually um, and then i got a pillow to match so just this dunelm pillow this one i already had before which was from b &M, i think it's just got this little remote so you can put it on like night mode there's like flashing mode the like main lighting and then at night i quite like putting the night light on blinds are the same because i only just got those blinds a couple of years ago when i did my room before and then today i actually picked up a load of tulips these are so pretty there's so many in here i think it was five bunches i think these are so pretty i think flowers are going to become like i feel like you should treat yourself to flowers to like once a month or something so maybe i will get once a month a load of flowers i did have this vase in my room before which is from primark and then from this section of my room obviously i used to have my old dressing table here i now have this new cupboard which took three and a half hours to put up on this my hollywood mirror is the exact same it is from illuminated mirrors i got it a couple of christmases ago um but yeah i still love this hollywood mirror i then have the little section here which is probably like my little favorite corner now i feel like this but here is like my favorite corner of my room. This vase, again, I had already from Primark. And then this pampas grass I already had, which I bought from Amazon, actually. And then I've just popped my Dior perfume out. This I bought from Primark. It's just a little bubble candle. And then this I actually got gifted from Lit Fantastic because I was just working on them with it. So they gave me a voucher to spend. Um, so I picked up this because I thought it was just perfect timing for my room. It's just a Neom diffuser. If you want to like treat yourself because it is expensive. I'm, I'm not going to lie. They are quite a lot for a diffuser. But if you do want to treat yourself or you want to treat someone else maybe, they do make like a really nice luxurious gift I think or a little self-love treat because they're something that you're always going to use. All you've got to buy then is the oils each time. And I don't know, I just think they are a nice little touch to your room. They have like a light on it. So at night it's like so like calming when you put the light on it because it's like really just like zen in your room when you have it on. So I really like it. Yeah, a little bit expensive but... I do think it is worth the treat and I do have a discount code as well for look fantastic so I'll leave everything to do with my room and the discount code and everything in the description box so you can go and check everything out as well and then this like marble I think it is actual real marble um dish is from H&M really like this as well H&M home have some really good bits in as well it's just on this side again I had this before I don't know where it was from probably like home bargains I think this candle my sister bought me for Christmas from home bargains my auntie for my Mother's Day picked my sister and I up a little daffodil plant so something that is getting changed is I am actually getting a bit of glass to cover this just that it doesn't get ruined but that takes about two weeks to come so there will be a bit of glass being added to the top of this this is actually going back but it might be of interest if you're looking
looking to get one um but this was actually from primark it was 30 pounds and it's like a little teddy bear stool which are really expensive so 30 pounds was a bargain and it's like got space for storage in the middle for now i've just put it there with this like throw which was from home bargains over the top and then this is the section which to be fair hasn't really had much changed to it it looks very similar to how it did before i still have to store all my like lights and everything down here but it's kind of behind the door so you can't really see so my frames and pictures are all the same they are from Desinai. Desinio. I never know how to say it. I think it's Desinio. These I already had. These are home bargains and this is Primark. This is kind of a new little setup. So I did get the Dior book for Christmas. I bought these two. They're actually from Amazon. So I got the Louis Vuitton one and another Christian Dior one. And then I just popped some pampas grass over the top. So again, it looks very like bum <laughs> orientated over here. Oh, I think this is actually from Cherries. Okay, and that is the end of this video. So I'm going to wrap this up pretty quick because i can just feel this video is going to be a very very long video it's literally taken up my whole memory card storage that was my small bedroom makeover so hopefully this gives you some motivation to do a spring clear out honestly the amount of stuff i've chucked out there was like sacks of stuff so i will be uploading a load of stuff onto my vintage it's been a good spring clear out and i feel like my room is ready for spring i'm very excited to get back into filming more youtube videos because i've been very very busy the past couple of weeks with my room i had a uni assignment due yesterday so i've been doing that i hope you enjoyed the process um i did film them for tiktok as well and they've seemed to do really well so everyone's been loving the room transformation on tiktok so if you want to see some like little snippet ones then definitely go and check out my tiktok as well yeah i'm gonna end this video here in my new room and i will see you next week with a brand new video bye